Hello, viewers, friends, whatever. Uh, welcome back to another episode of, of my Arc View Order Let's Play. This is TBT here, and today, uh, I'm just flying around, just kind of moseying around looking for something to do, and I ran into this, and you'll notice that bright orange-red horn there on that unicorn, uh, and its level, obviously. But, uh, yeah, I, I saw this, and I'm like, what? That's different. The event hasn't, like, the Fear Evolved hasn't started yet. By the way, these are the coordinates of this location, assuming that this is the general area where it spawned. Uh, I'm not sure how long it's been here. Sir? Sir, sir can, can you not play that? Yeah, hold on. And, uh, as it happens, um, I had, I had some of this, uh, exceptional kibble with me because I had, uh, been making it and I was seeing if there was some stuff we wanted to do with that. Um, you know, seeing if there's some creatures we could tame, you know, all that. I was looking for something to do <laughs> do for the video, basically, because I honestly didn't have anything. <laughs> and I found this lovely lady, so let's let's get right to it. Um, let's see here. Uh, ooh. So, taming these, taming Equus, if you didn't know, I don't know why you wouldn't, but let's do it anyway. Just, um is much like taming the, uh, is a lot like taming the, um, the Andrew Zarkus, but in my opinion, the Andrew Zarkus is just a better taming method. Um, okay, I have to crouch. I really should be wearing Gilly for this. Uh, what? Okay. Wow. Really? I want to point out that my tame, that my taming settings are enhanced, like, to a ridiculous degree. Like, not, actually, no, it's not to a ridiculous degree. I think it's, like, five times normal or something like that. No, no, no. I'll, I'll check it later. I actually think it's three and a half. Something like that. But, yeah, that's a little insane. What? I'm gonna have to check that. I haven't changed it to my knowledge, but that shouldn't have worked that well. Even though, uh, Equus, uh, or in this case, Unicorns. Okay, we got a mana bar there. Yeah, we'll get to that in a second. We'll get to the examination. I'm just gonna finish my little thing here. I'm, yeah. Uh, lately, that's been happening a little bit more than I would like it to. With, when it happened first with the Dynatherium, you should go check out that video if you haven't already done so. Um, I was okay with it because it still took like what one or two feeds, I think. But it was also sort of a, you know, I didn't mind if it was on one creature. But this, what you're supposed to do with this is you feed it and then you ride it and then or whatever now oh we've got kraken's better dinos on this so it does do something um so it is affecting this creature now whether it's treating it as equus or or like actual unicorn i don't know okay left click is the same kind of a bite or a, or a swipe right click is the same kick uh, spacebar jump. But yeah, no, um, I'm not gonna change my taming settings at this point in the Let's Play. Like, they are what they are, you know, I'll remember it for the future. I gotta say, if we're taming Equus like this, especially at this level this quickly, and yeah, it, I'm using, uh, exceptional kibble, so it's not exactly gonna need a whole lot of it, but what you're supposed to do, uh, is you're supposed to ride around on it, jump on its back after you feed it, and ride around on it. And basically pull, um, basically do the exact same thing you do in um, Red Dead Redemption to sort of uh, <clears throat> get a horse to like you. You ride around on it and just uh, eventually it'll calm down and stop trying to buck you off and all that. So that it's the same general idea. And uh, my apologies that that didn't show through. <laughs> I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit upset by that. Um, yeah, no, that, I've been thinking about that lately a lot, if, uh, for the next Let's Play, which, again, I have stated will be in Aberration, the next Arc Let's Play, anyway, will be Aberration, I'm definitely going to turn down my taming settings just a bit, that this is a little ridiculous. With Dyna Theorem, I was okay with it, uh, but the fact that it happened with Arthur Plura, um, with the Arthur Plura as well, even though the Broth of Enlightenment is their preferred food, um, <clears throat> Yeah, that's a little insane. So, I don't know how I feel about that. I'll have to give it more thought, but I think I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. Uh, I don't want to turn it down too much, though, because I think that that's, you know... 
everybody by this point has either seen or done these these tames. So it's like, unless something worthy of note happens during the process, we've all seen it, we've all done it. You know, I'd like to show it a little bit and then complete the tame and move on. So, you know. <clears throat> it's more about, it's not about me trying to cheese it. It's more about just like, wow. It's like, oh, wow, another 30 minutes trying to tame this creature. We, we've all done that. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, do you, you really? I guess some people do, and if you do, great. Um, but <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, I've been just kind of ranting here. Let's get back on to on to topic. Uh, the unicorn. So I can see the Kraken's better dinos affects this. I'm gonna go find out just how much. Okay. So the first thing to note here about this creature. Yeah, we're just kind of trotting around. I'll get to the actual fun stuff in just a sec. Uh, has a 10% increase in, so in size, tamed health, damage, and speed. It actually does look a little bit bigger now that I'm thinking about it. Horn is now colorized and glowy. All right, that's why I was, that's why it has the bright red horn. Um, in addition, horn now uses its color regions and therefore is able to be admin colored, gain event colors, or mutations, et what? Hmm? Mutations, you say? Hmm. <clears throat> now able to become a magical Pegasus by using the C attack whilst... What? Hold on. Uh, whilst right... Oh. There you go. I think that turns it back, but... What? Oh, shit. I could fly. Uh, I can't dive bomb, but I can fly pretty quickly, too. And, uh, of course, like the normal Equus, this thing does have, um... You know, the great gathering and carrying abilities. Okay, so once you have transformed, you can press C to activate. You can press uh, space to, to get airborne. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, that's awesome. Yes. <laughs> See, this is what I think the unicorn in-game needed. It needed something to really be magical. Also, yes, that mana bar. Uh, I'm not sure how that works. I would assume it recharges, although there are uh, craftable mana potions with Kraken's Better Dinos, so that's something to note, too. <clears throat> uh, alrighty, let's, uh, let's see here. Provides a close-range AoE buff uh, to allied dinos, providing health regen and a boost to XP gain. What? Does not affect the unicorns themselves. Will drain your mana over time. How do I change back? I guess I can't. <clears throat> oh, G transforms you. There you go. Note that the unicorn is now classed as a flyer and cannot be picked up by those creatures that are able... Except by those creatures that are able to grab flyers. That's pretty funny. Um, there is an Aberrant and an R variant. Um, so we could go check that out at some point. I'd love to see what an R unicorn looks like. Uh, Alright, let's check damage. Still trash. <laughs> Actually, hold up. Also, yeah, uh, Unicorns and Equus are able to knock creatures out with their with their kick. So while they don't have the greatest damage in the world, they certainly do. Yep, see there you go. Four hits and he's down. So not a bad uh, not a bad taming assistant either. But uh, I'm just in love with the fact that this thing can fly. That is incredible. Uh, what stat affects your mana? Uh, max mana is equal to the unicorn's max stamina stat. Okay, so it levels. 
Hey, thank you, Kraken's Better Dymos, giving me a reason to level stamina on a creature. Absolutely fantastic. <clears throat> but yeah, it's it's basically an Equus with a few extra steps, with a few extra perks. By the way, I don't know if you can hear that. Uh, we've got some gardening work going on outside, so I apologize if that's coming through the microphone. Um, not a whole lot I can do about it. Um, but yeah, honestly, this is a pretty cool creature. I'm very happy we uh, checked this out. Um, <clears throat> it's like, as mentioned before, excellent gatherer of multiple resources. Uh, does not gather fiber, but that's okay. God, this thing is so awesome. Let's see what, like, really only 38 damage, though, huh? Yeah, that's what we got. Oh, you, you're not the only one who can do that, buddy. Oh, it would appear that my kick is better than your skull, sir. Okay, you're level 20, you trash. I need, and you're trash, and I need levels. Nothing personal. Uh, why is my Fjordhawk not doing its job? <laughs> oh, there it goes. There it goes. Yay. More stamina. More mana. More fly time. <clears throat> oh, this was a terrible idea. <laughs> yeah, this was a poor decision. Poor decision. Oh, fuck this. Oh, that's the wrong button. What the fuck? Oh, there we go. Fuck off. Can't catch me now, bitch. <laughs> oh, man, I almost died there, too. That was bad. Wow, that was really bad. I also uh, underestimated the, or, or overestimated, rather, the health that these things have. I'm so used to creatures being really tanky at this stage in the game. It's easy to forget that when you start, that's not true. And Equus, and indeed the Unicorn as well, even with these buffs, while certainly a, a creature worthy of your time to tame early game is uh, definitely not got the health to really stand up to what's uh, coming next. We're heading back to base here. Hopefully I'll get healed up in short order. Uh, and do some base updates, and then we'll see what else we can get up to, because I don't think this is enough for an episode by itself. And again, I do apologize for that, uh, that, uh, there we go. Yeah, G transforms you back. And it's like, that's okay that he needs healing. Uh, we will, or she needs healing, rather, my bad. Uh, oops. <laughs> yeah. Another hit or two from that trike would have killed her. So that was uh, an oops on my part. Also, I'd... but yeah, I do apologize that we didn't get to see the riding aspect. But it is what it is. You know, something to work on in future Let's Plays is getting all of the settings down. Okay, you are ready. And as you can see, we are now up to 6 HP and 20 melee on these acros. I'm going to go a little bit farther on HP, and then I think they're going to be ready. Because with Dragon, it's more important to do damage than it is... To have a super high health bar. Not that having high health isn't important. I'm just saying that it's not as important. Uh, where is Redemption? Where art thou? There you are. Ah, yes. Polygons. Just gonna give you some quick HP there. Oh, wow. Look at how fast that's going up. Yeah. By the way, when you do tame these, if you want to do it early game, um, mejo berries work better if you can get your hands on some uh, on some rocker root, the carrots. Uh, but yeah, all the above will work. Like any any berry will work, but you will get better effectiveness. Plus, it will take less time and less hassle if you use the um, if you use carrots or uh, simple kibble is actually their preferred kibble. So, my, the kibble that I was using is a bit overkill. <laughs> it's actually fitting that we have this, as this is Helm's Deep, the fortress of Rohan, who were, uh, in Lord of the Rings, were famous for their cavalry. Okay, we're gonna have a lag spike there. Um, so, yeah, I think if we, if you, like, the final, like, what these 
areas actually were in the movie was they were stables for some of their, like, the, like, nobility's horses and stuff, so. But yeah, the horn glows, so that's cool. Um, I like that it still shows some of the stripes as well. I think that's really neat. Um, yeah. There you go, that's the unicorn. I can't wait to use this more. Also, can't wait to find another one and breed them, but that's never gonna happen because they they are very rare. I think, like the Giga, you can only have three of them on a map at any one time, but, um, you know, we'll see. Alrighty, I'm going to cut away and I will be back when we're ready to head out once again. Hello, hello, we are back once again, and, um, a couple things I wanted to go over before we head out once more, um, I think what I would like to do is go looking for a Dinosuchus, regardless of the variety, I don't really care, I just want to find one, it's high time we tamed one, I know there are some around, it's just, uh, I've been looking for one that's a good level, so we'll see what we see, but, uh, before we head out, I wanted to share with you guys some stuff that I did between episodes, like, I didn't do this while I had, while I was cut away, I did this while, I did this before I started filming, uh, I went and tamed another greater Uteranus. I finally did find one. Um, it's like, you know, we already tamed the first one on camera, so I went, screw it. No, no point, really. I bred them, and uh, Miss Fluffles Jr. is the end result of that, and she is <clears throat> fully imprinted and ready to go with an Ascendant Saddle, much like her mother was before her. So, uh, oh, I... Someone is calling me. We can't have that. Hooligans. I'm filming. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Um, finally got an imprinted UD for our boss army, so that should come in quite handy. She's gonna need to get some levels, but, um, uh, that's, uh, that's when we, we'll get there when we get there. Um, <clears throat> Speaking of the boss army, I got another melee mutation on the acro, so that's good. Uh, this little guy's growing up and definitely can confirm, uh, as I mentioned... Uh, oh, wow. What was that? <clears throat> as I mentioned in between... Uh, or as I mentioned last time, you definitely have enough time to train to, to get at least two acros done in the time it takes to get one Dinotherium finished. It's pretty insane, honestly. Like, they're only up to 12 mutations because, uh, as mentioned, you still have to... Uh, wow, really? You want Exceptional Kibble as your imprint? Well, isn't that convenient? Uh, sadly, you will not be getting an imprint, fam. Um, yeah, so it, it's it, in the time it takes, which is why we're only at 12 mutations on these. Uh, 5 HP, 7 melee. Realist hello, hello. Alrighty, uh... Unfortunately, we had to come to Vanaheim for this. I looked all over and could not find a good level. But, um, I finally came to Vanaheim, which means I couldn't be riding the unicorn right now, because since it is now classed as a flyer, you can't actually ride it, uh, outside of, uh, uh was it? Vanaland. But we're, uh, we got the Rock Drake, so we're fine. And we have a male ex Dinosuchus with some pretty snazzy. Like, very basic, kind of, like, bland coloration, but at the same time, really cool. I actually like how realistically like a crocodilian it looks. Aside from just the model, just the colors look like a, an actual kind of crocodile-ish creature that could exist. And the Dinosuchus is a very, uh, or was a very real-world creature, so... Not this particular one, this, like, all our creatures, uh, even modded ones is a different beast unto itself. But, uh, yeah, there we go. And the way you, you tame this thing is what I'm about to do. Is you run over here with your kibble or your mutton or whatever. I think you can use mutton. I'm not 100% sure. And you do this. Okay, and it's mad at me. And I'm gonna run away and uh, leave this parasaur to die. Or pteranodon on parasaur? What am I talking about? Okay, it's still on me, so I might have to do a little bit more. Yeah, I can't even mount the unicorn, by the way. Like, it won't let me even mount the thing. So, yeah, I'm just gonna leave this guy over here. See, I should be using Gilly when I do this. I didn't think to grab it again. <laughs> I'm in another dimension, so we're not heading back to base.
Oh, oh. And what you want to wait for is you want to wait for uh, wait for them to open their mouth and gape. And then you can run in and stick your hand in and give them food. Because, you know, that's generally a great way to make friends with a crocodile, right? Like, just go put your hand in its mouth while it's trying to relax. Ugh. Fuck that. Yeah, I was going to look around for a little bit because I just fed it. So I was like, what the hell was that? See, like, very chonky creature shit. I also forgot to make a saddle. Oh, well, we'll fix that. Um, like, very chonky, bulky animal, uh, which is, if I'm not mistaken, very true to the real-life Dinosuchus was, the, was like this. Um, okay, we're going to take two pieces of kibble to feed this thing. Um, give me the prompt. There we go. Please don't eat me. I just made friends with you. <laughs> God, these things are so cool. I've been wanting to tame one of these. And I also, we, I, I made the promise that we would tame every single Arcadition's creature and examine every single um, Kraken's better dinos and paleo art creature. So this falls under that. Actually, I think this is one of the last uh, Arcadition's creatures that we need to tame in order to, uh, in order to do that. Okay, what's the requirements for Dinosuchus saddle? Because I might be able to make one right now. Oh, uh, do I even have it unlocked? No, I don't. Okay, it needs metal, and I don't have metal on me, so I gotta head back. Man, um, but I'll probably head back here to this realm in order to test out, uh, give this thing a proper test drive. This is an X Dinosuchus, so it comes with, uh, a lovely, I believe it is a 5% damage resistance on all things, at least the wild ones do. I don't know if that's true for tamed ones, but yeah. Uh, there you go. Oh, uh, Wow. That was embarrassing. Can I please do it right? <sighs> but yeah, it's, uh, this is the kind of thing I like doing. I like taming creatures. I like having fun with them, like seeing what we crazy stuff we can get up to. But uh, yeah, the time is coming soon where we will fight the dragon. Um, maybe as maybe as soon as the this weekend. I'm like... The way it's going to work is depending on my schedule and the level of busy that I am. You're either going to get, as I, I think I said this, but um, I'm going to say it just once more. Um, I said this in a previous episode. You're either going to get Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday, or Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, or Saturday. You're, you're going to get one of the two. Um, so bear that in mind. Uh, this week, it's most likely going to be one of the two days. Like, I'm, it's shaping up to be a pretty busy day, a pretty busy week. I got a lot to do, so. God, it, this, cre this unicorn, by the way, is deceptively, uh, fast. Like, it's not the fastest flyer of all time. That honor goes to the Maywing, even though I don't really consider the Maywing a true flyer. A glider, yes, a flyer, no. Um... Also, I found out why our, our, uh, lovely creature here has such abysmal HP, and that's because its HP stat is trash. Like, it is garbage. It is like 19. Uh, oh, and it's raining. Excellent. I'm gonna refill my tech canteen. <laughs> and I have some kibble left over, so that's always good. But yeah, the, the trick with that taming method with the Dinosuchus is... is um, once you feed it, it'll start, it'll become active as if it's trying to look around for who just stuck food in its mouth, and I gotta tell you, I wouldn't be very friendly with somebody if they did that to me. I'd be like, what the hell, get your hand out of my mouth. You know? <laughs> not, not a good time. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna fly us back to base here, and it's like... I, I think that there needs to be a little bit of a fix to add some sound with the flight. Uh, I think we need a little bit of a flippity flappity. Uh, would be extremely welcome. But yeah, I want to see what crazy colors you can get on unicorns if you mutate them. Watch, you can't get anything other than the horn. We shall see. We shall see. Yeah, this is one creature I will do, like, pointless mutations for because it's a unicorn. Why not? <laughs> I 
I'm still a little annoyed about the fact that I insta-tamed it, didn't even get to ride it. That's... no. I don't like that. <laughs> oh well. What's done is done. I really wish you could get like a sparkly or a rainbow effect to go along with that, with the flying. I think that'd be pretty cool. It would also kill PCs. <laughs> Alright. Let's get back, make the saddle, and get back into the... Uh, I, I know it's called Vanaheim, but I'm just going to stick to calling it Alfheim. Uh, which would be the land of the High Elves. Oh boy, I sure hope I don't have a overload of uh, creatures over on my Rex thing. I should probably check that. Yeah, alright, I'm gonna cut away and I will be back when we are ready. Yeah, real quick, I just wanted to point out. So, remember how I said I wish there was like a rainbow sparkly trail? Uh, yeah, apparently wish granted. Uh, I rescind my statement. <laughs> Look at this. And it's given them the rainbow XP buff. Woo! God, that's amazing. I love that. Yeah. Anyway. Um. Alright, I just wanted to show that off. And now it's time to head off to Vanaheim. Actually. Yeah. Yeah, let's go to Vanaheim. Might as well. Hello, once more. Uh, welcome to back to lovely Vanaheim where we first tamed this creature. This isn't the exact spot, of course, but, um, you know, this is right on it. Man, really? Okay. So I got two levels, so we're just gonna put them into melee. And yes, I did name him, uh, I did name him Steve Irwin in honor of the late Steve Irwin, the crocodile hunter. Uh, you either get that or you don't. <laughs> but yeah, let's get right to it. So, you know... Like any crocodile, but, you know, he's best in the water, but still decent as a travel mount on land. Got good carry weight. You know, he'll get you from place to place pretty well. Uh, but let's get right to the stuff that everyone actually wants to see. Uh, left click is damaged. This thing, by the way, is an absolute beast. As you can see, very nice damage right there to start. And you can, like, use your mouse and turn... Or, or it'll it'll turn to look and attack where you're uh, trying to. Wow, buddy, your first uh, instinct to escape a giant crocodile was to get into the uh, into the water. Okay, that's just that's not even my fault. That's just natural selection at work right there. Um, the real life Dinosuchus, by the way, lived in um, the vast inland sea that once encompassed part of North America towards the late Cretaceous, and this thing most likely would have fed on dinosaurs. And as you can see, we have, for some reason, triggered the Gigabyte. I guess you do that just by sitting there. So I'm going to go show that off. I believe that's right-click. You can also charge it with right-click. Um. Boom! <laughs> just instantly fell that man. You can see, you know, it's like it, that, that posture, that, like, upright belly off the ground posture is consistent with how some crocodiles walk uh, on land. But, yeah, let's show the water speed. That's where this guy is most at home, is in the water. Yes, it's nighttime, but since it's so pretty here, we're still able to see, which is a very good thing. So, very fast in the water. I was really hoping to be able to tame one of these much earlier so we could use it uh, for the water caves because these things would have been an absolute beast in there but that didn't work out that way so it is what it is but you saw the massive amount of damage we can inflict like honestly these these things are a fun time like this is yet another creature I wouldn't mind doing some crazy stuff with just because we can Okay, we got a Dilo over there. I'm sorry, sir. This is a Dilo-free zone. Oh, okay. I don't know why it auto-bit, but... Still, even without the Gigabyte, we do some pretty nice damage. Oh, you jerk. What? What is your health bar, Dilo? Holy crap. This man. Yeah, wow. He's no wonder.
But yeah, definitely a decent water tank and an absolute just damage machine. Is that a shine horn up there? No, that's a raptor. Wow, I confused a raptor with a glowing deer. Peak gameplay. Boom! <laughs> just that gigabyte is insane. Oh, that was a max level X Raptor. Oops. That was not wise of me. <laughs> oh, also one more thing. They have a C attack that is a fantastic knockback. I was actually trying to see if it would gather, but it does not. God, that's such a, like, uh, that noise, like, it's so visceral in its own right. Alright, let's see again how much damage we do with the C attack. You know, 400, that's pretty good. Also seems to slow these things down. You can keep doing it. And I guess the strat there is to use it to buy time so you can do this. Uh, or, you know, not what I just did because I missed. Like an absolute goo. That is the case of insert the, the, the Mulan clip of, You missed! How could you miss? He was three feet in front of you! Aw, oh, come on. What? That's rubbish. It's more melee. Because that's just what you do with most creatures in this game is melee and health. Actually, does this thing have anything to do on X? No. Oh, control is that is that roar though? Ooh, that pow that that roar, dude. That's pretty crazy. Let's see what it does underwater. Nothing. How about X? How about C? C is uh okay. C is descend and all that. Uh, you can charge the gigabyte underwater. Does it lunge? Yes, it does a little bit. Um, by the way, this is, uh, actually one of the Arcadition's creatures that received a TLC. Uh, the original model looked a little bit different from this, as I recall. It didn't have the spikes along the sides like this, and it had, like, a, uh, less rounded jaw. Like, this thing looks like a giant alligator, and that's kind of the point. It was supposedly a crocodile, or at least a crocodilian in life, but... You know, definitely would look, if you saw it, more like a giant alligator than any, than any living crocodile. And that, that jaw, it, like, that's not arbitrary. Like, crocodilians have different shaped jaws for hunting different things. Like, saltwater crocodiles and Nile crocodiles tend to have that more narrow jaw that's still very effective at hunting land creatures, but, you know, they also are primarily fish eaters. Whereas, things like the alligator um, also eat fish, but have that wider snout, uh, both to act as a trap and to enable them to grip onto other prey that comes near them. So, two different evolutionary strategies to deal with similar problems and just slight differences result in the designs that you see. And of course, you've got freshwater crocodiles and gharials that have very narrow jaws for specifically hunting fish. So, yeah, there you go. A little animal facts right there. And, uh... Oop, hold on. Hit the wrong button. And yeah, all right. Well, we're, um... Actually getting to the point where it's time to be winding it down, so I'm just gonna go kill that snake up there, and then I think we're gonna call it an episode. Come here, boy. Boom! <laughs> Beautiful. But yeah, that is going to do it for this episode. Um, 
This has been TBT, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Definitely looking forward to it. By the way, if you enjoyed this one, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, share, all that good stuff. And uh, see you around.